everybody, this is Sean with Speakercraft. Today we're going to talk to you about the EPR 1.0. This is the Speakercraft muting relay. This little guy is designed to hook up to our wired keypads and give you the ability to mute the speakers hooked up to the muting relay itself. So say that you have two speakers hooked up to a single zone on the back of the MTC and you want the ability to mute those individual pairs of speakers but not mute all of them hooked up to that zone. Well, you can hook up these to a keypad, run the speakers through them, and get the ability to mute just those and leave the other one going. So if you have like a bedroom and a bathroom on the same zone, you can mute the bedroom but still be able to listen to music in the bathroom. So the muting relay is designed to hook up to our MKP and mode 3.1 keypads, our wired keypads, and it can handle a maximum of 100 watts per channel. You can hook up two channels or one pair of speakers per every muting relay, per every keypad. So to install the muting relay, it's really simple. First thing you want to do is get the little pigtail wires here and identify the white stripe on ours is here. This white stripe is going to be the positive terminal for the relay. So you're going to go to the back of your keypad, find the positive terminal, go ahead and wire in that white stripe to the positive terminals. So let's hook it up to our mode keypads. We'll show you now is how to hook it up to our MKP keypads. On the back of the MKP keypads, right next to the other wires, there's the relay, positive and negative. Just going to find that white stripe again and just put that white stripe terminal into the positive. The next step is to actually wire in your speakers. If you notice on the EPR 1.0, it has the left and right positive and negative for both the amplifiers and the speakers. It's pretty simple. You just hook the amplifier on the side that's going towards the MCC and the speaker side that's going towards the pair of speakers in that room. And so that's actually all you have to do to actually wire in your EPR 1.0 to your keypad and to your speakers. Obviously, this EPR 1.0 was meant to live with the keypad in the wall. So make sure when you're running your wire for the EPR 1.0 that you run it along the keypad to make sure that that wire goes through the keypad point where you can actually get to it via the EPR 1.0 and connect the EPR 1.0 to the keypad itself. So now the only other thing you have to do is go into program. So to set this up it's actually really easy. First thing you're going to want to do is go over to the zone that you want to set up. Let's say zone 1 has our speaker meeting relays in it. Then you're going to go over to the whole house slash mute tab of the zone setup box and then select easy pad relay speaker muting and click apply. And that's all you really have to do. You'll notice now that both the easy pad and mode keypads have the command for the mute relay key for the mute button. And that's it. After you set that up, your mute relays are programmed. All you got to do download your program. So there you go. Now you've set up the ability to mute your keypad, not from the zone mute on the actual MCC, but from the specific keypad muting relay. So you can have the ability to mute the individual zones hooked up to that main zone. But what if you want to do a little bit something more? Now you can just leave it like that, but if you like, you can set it up to be a little more snazzy. You can set it up so that when the customer walks up to the keypad and selects the source, rather than it playing everywhere and then muting the individual zones, you can actually set it up so that when they select that source in that subzone, you can actually just unmute that keypad, meaning really not all of them. So if you walk up to your bedroom keypad and select a source that only plays in the bedroom and not in the bathroom, and you can walk over to the bathroom and then unmute it, of course, but it only automatically comes on in the zone that you want. So if you want to set that up, and we recommend you do, let's go back in the program. So to set that up, first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner and click on event setup. From there, you're going to want to go to the zone that has your muting relays in it, and select the zone one turning on. So zone one is the one that actually has our muting relays in it, so we'll select zone one. Right clicking on that and selecting the insert easy pad mute relay command you're going to find the zone mute on energize command and insert that into that zone that means when our zone turns on it's going to mute all the relays 
in all the keypads. So no matter what the state of the system is, it's going to turn those mutes on. Then we're going to go back to our actual zone, zone one, and go to the keypads that we want to set up. For this example, we'll use the mode keypad. From there, you're actually going to want to right click on all the sources and insert the easy pad mute relay command for keypad mute off, de-energized. Selecting that is going to put that command in there. You're going to want to do this for the rest of the sources, for all the keypads in that zone, be they be mode or easy pads. You're going to want to set it up for both. What this is going to do is just turn the mute off for that particular keypad, not the entire system. And that's all you have to do. So we've done our programming, so now that when we select that source, it's automatically going to undo the mute in that zone. We have no sources selected, and select that, and we hear our meeting relay click, and we know we have audio. Just a note on the mode keypad specifically, when you're using the muting relays and not using the internal muting relay of the MTC, you no longer see the mute indicator on the actual keypad itself, but obviously the customer will be able to hear if there's no audio or not, so that's not really that much of an issue. So that's uh, muting relays. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call, tech tips at speakercraft.com, or give us a call. Thanks guys, and have a great day.